In 1994, Disney unleashed a new animated series to the airwaves unlike anything they've ever done before. It was new and it was fresh. A bold move in television animation. It was called Gargoyles. Gargoyles was unique among its peers. It featured complex characters, a deep backstory, and a rich tapestry of storytelling never before seen in television animation. The show was about a clan of gargoyles, led by Goliath, that awakened in modern-day Manhattan, and after befriending New York police detective Elisa Maza, vowing to protect it. Who were they up against? The cunning industrialist David Xanatos, who sought to control them, and the sinister gargoyle Demona, who would not rest until she destroyed the human race. And along the way, we encountered figures straight out of the plays of William Shakespeare, like Macbeth, Puck, Titania, and Oberon. Not to mention King Arthur and so many other figures from mythology the world over. The series lasted for 65 episodes before it faced cancellation. But it inspired legions of fans all over the world to create their own fan art, write fan fiction, and come together once a year for the annual convention, The Gathering of the Gargoyles. A convention that lasted for 13 years. All to keep the flame alive and it paid off when Gargoyles returned as a bi-monthly comic book in 2006 and was soon accompanied by the spin-off, Gargoyles Bad Guys. Then in July, 2010, Variety reported that Disney would be producing a live-action movie called Gargoyles. This movie would feature heroes from the past awakening in modern times with a deep mythology. This movie is being developed by Luann Brickhouse and Lauren Schuler Donner, who also announced that the movie would have nothing to do with the show. Wait, what? No Goliath? No Elisa? No Hudson, no Xanatos, no Demona. That's right, a movie is being developed that is very close to our gargoyles, but not our gargoyles. If this movie goes, it could be the final end to our Defenders of the Night, as Disney is not likely to want two competing brands with the same name to create confusion. Do you want to see this happen? Recently, The Last Airbender premiered, and while that movie was lackluster, it opened the door for a brand new animated series under the direction of the original creators to be greenlit by Nickelodeon. A Gargoyles movie based on our Gargoyles would likely result in the same thing. If you enjoy Gargoyles and want to see a real movie, if you want the rest of the series released on DVD, if you want more comic books, or even a new series, let Disney know. Join us on Facebook at Make a Real Gargoyles Movie Disney for more information.